I've put in about 47,000 kilometers on this budget all train tire and I figured it's high time to give it a decent review. So first up is on-road uh, performance both uh, dry and wet. To be honest I don't do any sort of spirited driving in my Nissan X-Trail but at the same time I'm not a slow driver. So what I can say about it on-road is for, for value for money it's pretty good. Um, I haven't pushed it to the limits and I don't intend to do so but on normal driving conditions both with dry and wet never had issues with it i haven't experienced any sort of hydroplaning on wet uh, roads now let's move on to gravel roads i've taken it to quite a quite a lot of gravel roads and i've never had issues with it i find it to be quite stable uh, i always uh, lower down my my tire pressures though so it gives me more traction as you lower down your tire pressures you increase the risk of your sidewall being punctured with those sharp rocks because it's now low a bit closer to the ground however if I would use it for overland or expedition travel or maybe if I do a lot of uh, rough roads or gravel roads I wouldn't pick the tire I would pick a tire that's uh, known and you know reputable for uh, rough overland travel and the main reason is number one this tire doesn't have have much in terms of sidewall protection and um, also the construction of these tires being a budget tire won't be as good as the more expensive or the um, uh, reputable brands. Now you got to remember that when you when you lower down your tire pressures the sidewall flexes so much more than when you're driving on the road which means it will produce a whole lot of heat and the number one cause for tire blowouts is heat. For the construction of the actual tread, I find it to be really good actually after all these kilometers that I've put on it and all the terrain that I've been through. Um, I, I haven't experienced any sort of uh, chipping on the, tr on the thread, uh, no, no cracks or anything like that. It's just normal wear and tear. And even the side wall, you can see some discoloration on the side where I've rubbed, rubbed it against rocks, but never had any punctures or any, any cracks or tears on, on the side wall. So it's actually not that bad. Let's move on to wet and muddy conditions. To be honest with you, I am so impressed with this tire for what it is and how much it is. And being an all-terrain tire, I've gone through really thick mud, a uh, lot of water, water crossings, slippery rocks and that sort of terrain. And um, what the other thing I found is the self-cleaning ability of the tire is actually pretty good for what it is. Um, and that is very important when picking a tire if you intend to go through a lot of mud. Obviously, mud terrain uh, has been has got better self-cleaning abilities than an old train but if you pick an old train um, then it's very important to pick one that's got really good uh, self-cleaning abilities what that means is as you go through mud depending on the type of mud as well clayish type is the worst they tend to wrap around the whole tire and it will take you quite a bit of wheel spin to get rid of it and some tires are better compared to the others in terms of self-cleaning themselves. And that is very important because no matter how aggressive or how good your thread is, if you've got that layer of mud wrapped around your tire, then your traction would be reduced quite significantly. So self-cleaning ability for a tire is very important. For sand, it performed quite well, but when driving on sand, it's more likely to be your tire pressures that would give you the most traction rather than the actual tread on the tire. 235 width profile tire for this vehicle is quite wide actually. I highly recommend that you choose a narrower uh, width of tire if you plan to do a lot of sand driving. If you want to know more about that, there's a link in the description below to my practical full driving playlist and there's a video in there about tire pressures. Now let's move to rocks. How is it performing in rocks? Well. It's quite hard to tell because when you're rock crawling or um, going through bigger stones or rocks, you need low speed. And this vehicle doesn't have low range gearing, so it's quite hard to tell. Um, I get obviously quite a, quite a bit of wheel spin compared to you know, one with uh, lower gears. But for a vehicle with no low range gearing um, and these sorts of tires on rocks or big stones, then I'd say um, it's actually a good performer. Again, I always lower down my tire pressures, but what you gotta be careful as well is the lower you, the pressures on your tire, the higher the risk of um, damaging your rims, especially on those bigger rocks. And it's most especially if you need a bit of momentum to go over them because you need a little bit of speed. So just be aware of that. 
tread wear, well, I'd say I could probably squeeze out another 20 to 30,000 kilometers of this tire, so it's not too bad. So what are my final thoughts of this tire? Well, my conclusion is, for a budget all-terrain tire, I can't fault it. I can't complain, and I would recommend it. However, I would also consider looking at a brand called A+. Um, as a matter of fact, that is the brand that I have for my spare. Um, a plus from what I heard um, but you got to take this with a grain of salt from what I heard is that they are a better construction tire if you need a tire to take you on your overland travels or expedition travels then definitely don't buy not just this tire but any budget tire do not buy a budget tire spend the money and buy a proper good quality tire while the rain's starting to pick up I better bail out of here if you haven't yet Please subscribe to my channel if you like the video that I create and the content that I create. Click that bell to get notifications. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out my other practical camping or four wheel driving videos. I'll put the link to the playlist below. If you want to know any modifications of this vehicle, go to my mods playlist down below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.